Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Friday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Dan Lobby with Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, Ashley Bastock is going to join us a little bit later. Uh, we are going to talk about that Succession series finale because, of course, we have to. We've been so committed to it all throughout that, that fourth season. So we'll do that in the second half of the pod. Uh, here in this first half, though, we're going to do some Hey, Mary Kay uh, questions. We haven't done one this week, so uh, we're going to do some Hey, Mary Kays from our Football Insider subscribers. Uh, these are tech subscribers. If you want to get involved, you just go to cleveland.com slash Browns, click the blue banner at the top of the page there to get that info. Mary Kay, let's get right to it. We'll start with Tim Cook in Bristol, Virginia. Hey, Mary Kay, considering all the moves that the Browns have made this off season, which group will be the most improved offense, defense, or special teams? That's a really good question, Tim. Uh, wow. Very, very good question. <laughs> You know what? I think because Deshaun Watson is the quarterback for the full season this year for the first time, I think I'm going to have to go with offense, even though my first instinct was to say defense with all of these different guys on the defense, all of these new players. I think they're really going to get after the quarterback. But because you have Deshaun Watson starting potentially all 17 games and he's got all these new pass catchers, um, and I think they're going to, they are going to make a concerted effort to be way more explosive this year. I got to go with the offense. Yeah. And, and so I was debating on this one too, when I, when I pulled it out um, from the replies to your text. And I think offense is, is a good choice uh, because of Deshaun's improvement, the weapons, and maybe Kevin Stefanski sort of opening up the offense a little bit. Um, defense felt like the obvious answer, but I was going to say maybe special teams just because, they've really got no place to go but up after last season. And uh, I've been really impressed with what we've heard from Bubba Ventrone uh, in, in the short time that he's been here and the commitment they've made to bringing in some guys like Mike Ford and, and Matthew Adams, who, who are just core special team guys. And I think he'll find some others as well. Um, and, and Cade York in year two, right? If he just kicks better than he did last year, that's an instant upgrade to special teams. So I think, this question kind of feels easy on the surface. Like, Oh, it's a defense. Look at everything they've done over there. But I think these other two units certainly have a convincing case to be the answer here. Yeah, I think so too. And you know what, Dan, it makes me think we should put this out as a poll question to our texters because uh, it's a tough one to answer. And I think you can make a case for almost any one of the three units. Um, but certainly if they all take it up a notch the way they are supposed to and the, the way that we expect them to, they should at least win. I would think they, that right now, if I had to pick a number, I would probably put 10 on it. I, I think it speaks to this idea that like you went seven and 10 last year and i I'm glad that they didn't just look at that seven and 10 record and say, well, maybe there was some bad luck and let's just kind of stay the course. They went out and they made significant changes in, in all areas. Um, offensively, they added talent at receiver. Um, defensively, they changed coordinators and added a bunch of talent. Special teams, they changed coordinators, added some guys. I think it just speaks to that sense of not being content and not just sticking with the status quo, even if they think like maybe last year would have gone better with a full season of Deshaun Watson. I, I think it shows that sense of urgency of that sense of, Hey, last season just wasn't good enough. Yeah. They put the pedal to the metal and they made major, major changes, not only on the roster, but at defensive coordinator and special teams coordinator, when you're starting to shake things up like that, you're saying, you know, we have to be aggressive in how we go about, trying to shake this up and fix what's wrong with this football team. So I think that that's very significant that they did that. This was not a stand pat on the coaching staff uh, thing by any stretch of the imagination. They they went out and they found uh, two very accomplished coordinators. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. I've had fun watching both of those guys coach out there in the two OTAs that we've seen so far. We obviously have mini camp coming up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, also looking forward to seeing how that all comes together because we'll have a pretty good idea at that point what this team is going to look like. We did not see some of the best players on this team uh, at these OTAs. So, um, you know, we will see a better version of the 2023 Browns next week. Uh, but they have really overhauled this football team and they did not stand pat by any stretch. Okay, so you mentioned uh, we, we haven't seen.